Hello, welcome to part three. Well, I've worked on one of the houses, the stone one. As you can see, I have spray mounted, fixed the paper on. The roof is there just to demonstrate. As you can see, I've cut the windows through. And I've glued it all together on the sides. And you can see I've just got some touch-ins on where the walls meet the floors. And the base, well that's to be finished a little later on as we go as a little detail. And uh, it's looking pretty good I think and uh, not too bad. So what do we actually need to do to this? Well, it's looking a little bit bland, a bit flat. So, as we go, I'm going to try and detail the buildings. Now, that's not a complicated process. It's much the same as the process of using the marker pen on the edges. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to actually draw in, just with the marker pen, into the edges of the walls and the joints and put a little bit of toning. Now I'm not using very dark colours and again using marker pens they'll just feather in. I'm using the big chisel end as they call it. And all I'm going to do is just add a little bit of detail. You can see the marker pen just drawing in and the reason on these videos it's a slightly darker lighting than you'd expect is it helps actually show what I'm actually doing with the marker pens and the paper as I go. And you can see it's producing a really nice shadow. This is only a cool grey one which is as light as you can go but it just adds that little bit of life to what is a flat surface. There's a go. And along there. Well, when the roof joins in, I'll actually do it down there as well. Just adds a little bit of shadow. Now this can be done when you've got the panels in parts. It's a bit of a speed build and then see I'm just sort of ticking in the ends there. The more you use a marker pen actually it does start to tint down darker. Okay now don't be scared to possibly use another tone or colour. This is putty. It looks a bit pink but it gives a bit of a warmth to things. You see I'm just just marking edges. And all it will do is add a little bit more detail and another tone and warmth to what you're doing. And the fun of all of this is, apart from it's printed paper, there's no water involved. Not that, that matters, but it just adds. You can see there how, let me turn it around the right way for you. You're just gaining a lot more depth. And these little sharp lines will slowly feather that's how marker pens work and it will tone it down. Now on the roof, because you can see where the roof sits, you can also get a little bit of an edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use a, quite a dark grey. Um, just a double edge around where we edged before. You can see I'm just allowing it a couple of mil, a couple of millimetres on those edges only 
to give you that depth. I like to just tip it in just on the edge. See that mist there? So I'm going to go to the brush tip. Horses for courses, tools for the job. Use the point that needs to be used. I'm going to actually touch a little bit of the brick. It's not easy on the camera, sorry about that. Get into that nick, nick there. Just allow the paint, the pen, sorry, paint. Okay, and don't forget when it's in position, it'll also shade there. Just shading it in. Later we'll use a blender pen just to feather those edges a little bit more. It's giving you a lot more life and a lot more depth to your building model. Right, I'm going to move on to the next build which will be much the similar sort of technique which will be the plaster and brick version so I'm going to merge the two together so there will be a plaster over brick take care bye